we'll just clean it up, put a little clear coat on it, make it look pretty. some more machine screws that I'm pretty sure I can fit in here so I was gonna put some of that because this one is the same way Let's see. There we go. now we get it it was red I don't care at this moment yeah I gotta get some bigger screws so that's what I'll do right now but these screws kind of hold this game this guy right here and this uh, this is just kind of like a little uh, crate you could say or a grate you could say that uh, just holds off the leaves and all the stuff that falls from the good old mother earth into the ground and into our cars because you know what happens to these bad boys we get all that stuff falling in here and then of course obviously a lot of us don't ever clean inside of here or don't even think about the inside of here that it starts to wash away into the plug holes where it should be washing out of gets collected, turns into mud, turns into a plug, and before you know it, you're running around with a water tank you don't need inside this car. So the good thing is that the rocker panels on this car are kind of galvanized or something like that. They are galvanized, so uh, they won't rust, but still, on any other car, man, kiss them rockers goodbye. And that's pretty much how it goes. So we're going to go ahead and replace the new screws. Yeah, you know, it just looks a little neater. We just touched it up with some Rust-Oleum uh, flat black. You know, same thing that we've been using with the Staff Sergeant Reckless, uh, you know, our 93 Fox body that we just finished working on last night. But today we're giving some love to the T-Bird or to our uh, Trans Am Firebird. So that's what we're doing today. What we're mixing up here, man, is some uh, internal rust or frame, internal frame coating or rust encapsulator by Eastwood Paint. Now, this stuff right here we use on our 93 Fox body just recently to pour inside the, uh, uh, what was that, racker the panel. racker panels. And we also used it on the frame here to our 78 uh, Firebird here. We did it all the inside, uh, all the way in through and out because we had to do some repair on this frame. Now that we know that's all sealed up, we don't have to worry about rust attacking it as bad. So for him, we had some uh, uh, some support braces that are go right that are actually these right here. They run underneath, they go underneath, and they uh, they get welded up to the floor pans. And on both of them, we didn't get to get all the way up to the clean up some rust because again, sometimes good hair good help is hard to find. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead in there on the inside and encapsulate all that in there. We did knock off as much as we could the rust before we put all that up. So as you can see on the floor, you know, that's uh, about 40 plus years of rust. So we will uh, encapsulate it some more to make sure it doesn't rust. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, port 15 on this firewall. Did see he stepped on it, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we got our little setup here. It's just the coat hanger that I cut up. And all we're going to do is just kind of guide it in there. And then what it does, it has a 360, a 360 spray. So, one more time with high. And one more time right down here. That should do it. Let's see if we can get this side down here, which we should be able to. So we around here, and we're going as deep as we can. Sorry, bud. Two times. That got the guy's a little bit more closed up. So I just, in order to clean it off, I just used some. Uh, get to use it again because if not man it plugs up and then it doesn't work as good so what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and give it a little bit of a clean up the tip because as you can see it's got five little sprays one in the middle and then four on around it 
Give it one more push. For those of you guys that don't know, man, when you open port 15, it takes like a little bit of a struggle, and then you end up tearing up the cans, and man, you know, it's a good day when that does not happen. I don't know how, why it is. I've had theories that the a bottom lip is expanding at the bottom or some garbage. I don't know, man, but every time we try to open these things, port 15 is kind of like the death of it. You have to use this whole... $50 can right now because if not or $60 can because if not, you know, it's useless. It's like a stone tomorrow, but uh, man, it's a good day today even with a lower overcast. All right, let's get started I'm just thinking about it. I should have done silver, but this black will look better on this car, anyways. Damn, you I know, right? No damage. Not damage at all. Oh, yeah, that's I'm old. My knees are older. I'm trying to get some of this. I know most people are saying, oh, well, that's not going to even be seen. You're right. But I know it's here. So I'm going to take care of it. Um, this project kind of ended up morphing into what it is. Um, prematurely, I, didn't, I wasn't planning on doing this to this car. I wasn't planning on doing a lot to this car. Um, like I said before, this car was pretty much just going to be a simple engine rebuild. You know, tune it up. Give it uh, just a little bit more. Wow, and that was it. You know, go to find out in the process of doing that wow, we uh, really wowed each other because uh, he wasn't ready for any of it. And it uh, has put us in this position now. Four years later, we have uh, finished the engine about two years ago, but the floor and my moving situation of shop to shop to shop has been crappy. So, it's just been rumbling around with me as well, so I just have to finish it up. I know Mr. Ruben has been very patient, also because, you know, it's been rather more expensive than he thought. And at the same time, I applaud him because he just said, you know what, it's there, we're there, so let's get it there. <laughs> so, we're here now. Just kind of slathering this on here. Oh, Now I know what Michelangelo felt like. I mean, this ain't all 60 in chapel, but... Yeah. Might as well, since it's all exposed.
front of the bucket on that lid, man, because as y'all know, <laughs> gotta get it nice and sealed, or else it's worthless $50, 60 100 whatever it costs wherever you're at. 